now we are going to learn on farm production of spiders spiders are one of the important predators in agro ecosystem spiders feed on the most of the agricultural pests that's why spiders are more useful in biological control Trainings with regard to mass multiplication of spiders is imparted to farming community in which National Institute of Plant Health Management is playing a crucial role. In this method, take a clean, wide-mouthed, dry plastic container Take a small glass vial and fill it with water and keep any plant branches in the glass vial to create natural environment to the spider and place the glass vial with plant branch in the plastic container Female spiders generally having larger abdomen compared to males. These spiders are to be collected from fields. We have to release a male spider to each individual jar with a female spider. We should not release two spiders in the same jar as there is a chance of cannibalism in the absence of food material. Add some carcilla larvae as feed material. Cover the container with a muslin cloth and secured by rubber band or thread. For every 2 to 3 days we have to change with fresh plant branches placed in glass jar and add some carcilla larvae as feed material egg masses of spiders observed and covered cloth or plant branches have to be collected into plastic jar. Approximately within 21 to 28 days, spiderlings will emerge from the egg masses. Carefully collect the tiny spiderlings with the help of small brush and transfer them into any small glass vials or plastic containers. Such mass produced spider links can be used for further mass multiplication or can be directly released into the field. Spiders released in field effectively feed on most of the flying insect pets thereby enhance biological control. For further technical assistance, contact National Institute of Plant Health Management, Rajendranagar, Hyderabad.